What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with uh, with video games. We're back with Alan Wake 2. I don't know why. It's, I, I cannot come up with the names of games recently. I think last time I recorded this, I was still sick. Wasn't doing commentary. Wondering what the hell I'm doing. I don't know. I'm just kind of moving about until... Uh, Until I'm done with this intro. Which I guess we're done with this intro. Let's get into it. So we're in the back alley of this uh, this movie th or this theater, I, I should say. I don't think it's technically a movie theater. Oh, wait. I guess it was. Sorry, I have not been playing this game a lot lately. It's just, I, I don't know, man. Just getting myself into the mood for a horror game. I, I gotta be, like, I, I, I just, I gotta be in that, I in that, uh, to figure out a way forward. just to be in that mode. And I have not been in that mode lately. Okay, so we got a locked door. That's why it sounds so quiet. Turn my headset up. I'm going to go into the light before I change the plot board. Do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Oh, okay, we can take the light from the, uh... I don't like that sound. I knew I was making progress. I had to keep going. Okay, can I ask how we're making progress? You know, there was something I wanted to talk about while I was just kind of, kind of playing here, and I lost my train of thought. Can we open the, open the trunk? Get some. Uh, uh oh. I heard somebody say "wake." I didn't like that. I'm gonna run back into the room. Oh, I remember what I wanted to kind of talk about while well, I'm just puzzle solving and whatnot. The, uh, the thing I wanted to make mention of... In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. thing I wanted to talk about, I'll kind of rant a little about yesterday. I recorded some Pacific Drive, and I was kind of, I was kind of stumbling around a rant about um, the Star Wars Outlaws sort of drama that I'm seeing going on right now. I, I guess I, I've kind of figured out how to put my thoughts into a little bit more of a concise idea, and it, it, it it's kind of a few things. It's one, I think the drama is a little overblown because I mean. 
Okay, it, what what are we seeing? We're seeing people questioning the monetization practice. Okay, look, I get it. People don't like it. I think that there is some. There's got to be some middle ground where companies can do post release monetization and people not get so po'd on it. But I get it. I get people are tired of having some lackluster having lackluster DLC shoved at us that I saw somebody um, having lackluster DLC sent and hidden behind paywalls and everything. I, I get that. But again, I think that there's also there's a reason that companies are doing it. There are to their death from the rooftop. There are reason companies do it. There are it. Yeah, it, it it's it's not so simple as just oh they're greedy. Look, I mean, I get it. Ubisoft does not have the best reputation right now. Neither does Star Wars, which is kind of why with this game I have uh, zero expectations. I'm hoping for just it being decent and we'll take it if the game is actually pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I get it. People mad about the monetization practices, but at the same time, I feel like this game is getting an inordinate amount of shit when it's really just kind of doing what a lot of games are doing right now in this market. I guess Ubisoft could be getting some extra shit because of the disaster that was Skull and Bones. Which I still think that game is a game that was like 10 years too late. Because that game, what, it was shortly after... When did that game get announced? It was shortly after... Um, oh, boy. It was shortly after... changed the story and with that the dark place changed okay But yeah, I mean that that game should have been much close. Should have come out much closer to the dirty cops looked down the city, their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Should have come out much closer to AC4 or the PS4 generation, but that's its own issue. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand why people are, are questionable about a Ubisoft franchise. Like I said, I am too. I, I do not have high hopes for it, given the run that Ubisoft and Star Wars have been on lately. But I guess some people would say, well, okay, AJ, you just kind of answered your question why the game's getting an, uh, getting a lot of crap. I just, It's just the things that the game is getting crap for. It's, oh, well, the female protagonist, what, she's being called Ma'am Solo, which, fair, she is, I mean, she doesn't look that bad, but when you compare it to the actual actress she's being played by, you're like, holy hell, that's, you know, it's kind of like if you look at the uh, the chick who plays Mary Jane in uh, the Spider-Man games, oh my god, she is gorgeous, and she was really pretty in the first game. Yeah, she was uh, she was super pretty in the first games. I would love that flashbang, but I don't have inventory space.
And I don't have... Yeah, I don't have a way to... I can't remember if I drop things in this game. Do I drop them or do I... Because I love that flare. Sorry again. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting distracted. Uh, but yeah, my 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 whole thing is. I again. I just. I just think that Star Wars Outlaws is just. Is just getting a little more shit than I think it deserves. I think it deserves shit. It deserves scrutiny. It just doesn't deserve as much crap as people are flinging at it. You know. Let's. It, you know, I'm not saying, oh, well, let's wait till the game comes out again, because I, I get, I get it, <laughs> I get why people are very skeptical. I don't know. Like I said, I ju I just think it's getting a little much, or a little too much crap for I think what it what it's probably going to deserve. I think it's just going to come out and be mediocre. Would be my guess. Okay, now I should be able to get... Now I should be able to get the stuff out of that box. So yeah, again, that's my that's that's kind of my thought process. It's just I have no real strong hope for the game. I just think it's getting more crap than it deserves right now. And let's... Um, yeah. For problems that are just that are common in the industry. And again, it's always like, oh, I can't believe this game is doing it. Really? You're surprised Ubisoft is is is, is being an example an example of some of the problems in the industry right now? Really? Okay, apparently I found a word of stuff. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, sure, I'll take resources. So is it going to show up on my map? I, mean, I guess there's no resources around. Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my thought process on it. I just think, holy hell, fuck you! I think it's getting more shit than it deserves, but at the same time, I'm not willing to fight. You know, I'm not willing to necessarily go to. go to bat for the game because I don't have you know I don't have high hopes for it it's a yeah it, it, it's, it's more that I'm just kind of oh I thought it I thought I boosted my uh, my inventory. Didn't I? Oh right, right, right. I I said make the map tell me tell me where shit was. Really, a box of shotgun shells, and there was one in it. Okay. So it wasn't the New York Finest. I think it was the Cult of the Word that had a. The scene here had changed. Fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You go 
got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film book without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why did he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I'd find the murder site? And bring on the enemies that I know are gonna. It was locked from the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth a try, though. Crap, I missed. Ow. Okay. Is this the part where I begin crying? Need to turn this back to New York's finest so I can get back so I can get access back here. Snag that. Ah. I got 
push into a corner. Why are you putting baby in a corner? The answer was close. Damn it. Any faster reload? I was close to finding the solution. Come on, come on, come on. Little fast bastards. It's because I keep forgetting to dodge. my flyer. Uh, 
Okay. Changing a plot element in a scene without being. Okay. Got some light in here now. I got a little bit of protection. And doesn't change anything for me in here. Great. Why did I just know that I that door? In a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. Why am I just so brilliant? Like this anymore. I don't want beer. I'm gonna play a game with ponies. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bitch. Did you say it ate my mind or I ate my mind? I misread the subtitle.
I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Casey? Who's there? Look, you got the wrong guy! I'm not Alex Casey! I only play him in the movies! He's just a fictional character! What? what? What's going on here? You don't have to kill me! You don't have to go get that knife and stab me! You can just give up and go back! Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward! The ritual sacrifice to open the way? No! Don't do it! You don't have to become a monster! Oh, okay. I see the knife. In the back, and go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Oh no! Oh no, you don't! You'll be sorry! Oh, uh, I don't like that sound. What the fuck? Is this the part where I start crying? Getting close. Come, Alex Casey. You've done well. You played your role perfectly. Everything out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. There's a fictional character in a story. You fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! I welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual. To lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. Oh, is it going to be re revealed that he wrote those movies? Mystery for you. If Casey was fictional and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin. Coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Oh, I'm gonna have to walk out of that door, aren't I? I'm not gonna like this. See in the amusement park. The mask was the key. God damn it. My old man just was walking in the hallway behind me and it scared the shit out of me. Like I was hearing, I was hearing some clunking or something behind me, and I just, oh my god. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen, I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? Oh, you scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. 
I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? Closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Yay! All right, my dudes. Well, this is where we're going to call it quits for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, find me over on social media. All that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more next time. Until then, I'm out.